I'm starting out with primer and I'm using the NYX Angel Veil Primer as my base. Just applying that with my fingers all over my face. Then I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I think I'm in the shade Bisque Neutral. This is so full coverage. I always forget how full coverage it is and that I don't need to apply as much as I normally would. But I'm just buffing it out using a Sigma F80 Kabuki. Then I'm just doing a little bit of cream contouring and I'm using the Morphe Concealer in the shade Frappe. So I'm just applying it to my cheekbones all around the hairline, a little bit under my bottom lip and along my nose. And I did a bit under my jaw as well. And then I'm just using the Sigma 3D HD Max Kabuki just to buff all of this out. Moving on to the eyes, I'm priming my lids using the Sigma Persuade Eye Base. I haven't used this in forever, so I decided to pop some on my lids just using my finger to apply it. Then I'm going into my Makeup Geek palette and I'm taking the shade Creme Brulee and I'm just buffing this into my crease using this Real Techniques Soft Shadow Brush. Then I took the shade Desert Sands, which is much more of a yellow camely colour, and I did the same thing, just really applied that, buffed it right on into the crease. Then I took Cocoa Bear on an E25 brush, which is much more precise. This one's from Sigma, and I started applying it into the outer corners, and then I brought it all the way in to the inner corner through the crease. Then I took this little Inglot shadow, it's just a single shadow I got from an eye mats one year, um, but it's the nicest red ever. I did build it up quite a lot because I did want the red to kind of shine through and I kept blending it away. So I'm just pretty much doing the same thing I did with Coco Bear, I'm just applying it and then buffing it out a little bit, applying a little bit more till I get my desired effect. And then I went in with Corrupt from Makeup Geek, which is a black, and I just did the same thing. I just wanted it to be a little bit more smoky, except this did quite cover most of that red. So, yeah. I took a E40, which was clean, just to bl blend out the edges completely. And then I just went in with the E40 again and applied a little bit more of that Inglot red shade just right above where all of those shades are in the crease. Then just going back in with the black, I, I honestly went back and forth so many times but this is what it takes to make a look super blended. Then I used the Morphe concealer in the shade Oats and I applied a little bit to the back of my hand and used an F70 brush to cut out my crease which I can never do evenly as you can see, I was pissed off with myself. Um, so I used the Sigma E25 I had been using earlier with no additional product, just made sure that the edges were blended and there was no harsh lines. Then I took the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes palette and I used this really pretty golden champagne colour and I applied it to the entire lid where I cut it all out. Then I added a little bit more of that Inglot shade once again. As I said, I really wanted a little bit of that red to peek through and it just kept getting blended away. So we did that. Then we added a little bit more Corrupt because, you know, we wanted it to be smoky in the outer corners. I didn't realize how many times I literally went back and forth until now, but yeah. Then I just went back in with that Sigma E40 and made sure all of the edges were very seamless. And then I took the shade next to the shade I used earlier on the BH Cosmetics palette. It's just a brighter shade and I applied that to the very center of my lids. And then I just used a little bit of the Makeup Forever Aqua XL liquid liner. I just did a straight line, no wing or anything. I just wanted it to basically help blend my lashes in. I used a cold pencil in my tight line. This one's from Rimmel. And then I used the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara just to act as a base for my falsies. And I applied the Huda Beauty Samantha No. 7 lashes with the Huda Beauty Lash Glue, which is incredible lash glue, by the way. It sticks like nothing else. Then moving back onto the face, I'm using that Morphe Concealer in the shade Oats once again, underneath my eyes and all down the center of my face. I actually really like these Morphe concealers. The only thing is that they stink. I really hate the smell of them. 
but I'm using a, I forget what this brush is, it's the Edged Kabuki from Sigma, I love this one for concealer, I'm just using that to press all of the product into my skin. Then to can set all, um, to can set, to set all the concealed areas, I'm using an F64 from Sigma and my Smashbox Cali Contour Palette and I'm using the Banana Shade. Then I'm taking the darker contour shade from this palette and I am starting to contour my cheekbones and a little bit around my hairline. Then I do take that lighter, more bronzier contour shade from the palette and I just add a little bit of that just to give some warmth to the to the face. I'm so sorry, I cannot speak like a normal human being. Um, but I'm obsessed with this palette at the moment. It is so, so good. Then for blush, I'm using this one from Bourjois. It's called Golden Rose, I'm pretty sure. And I'm using an F40 from Sigma to apply it. And then finally for highlight, I'm mixing these two middle shades from the Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I forgot how much I love this palette. I try not to use it much because I know you can't get it anymore, but I really felt like using it this day, so I did. I'm really sorry. And then to set everything down, I used my Fix Plus Pink Light from MAC. Then back onto the eyes, I took that Inglot shade once again on an E25. Didn't realize I was using an E25 that had basically completely black on it, so I picked up a clean one and then started to add some more of the red just to balance everything out. And then I did go back in with the black just to make sure everything was nice and smoky, that the top smokiness blended in with the bottom lash smokiness. So yes, and then I took a little bit of course through the top just to make sure it was perfect. Then I took this liner from Colourpop called Get Paid. It's just like a rose gold shade. And then finally I took this really, really light white shade from the BH Foiled Cos BH Cosmetics Foiled palette and highlighted my inner corners. And then I just took that bronzy shade that I used on the lid and just applied a little bit of that underneath the lower lash line. And then I just finished the eyes off with a bit of lower lash mascara. Then to finish off the look, I lined my lips with the Rimmel Lip Liner in Addiction. That's like my favorite nude lip liner of all time. Then I filled them in using the NYX Matte Cream, Soft Matte Lip Cream, that's what they're called, in the shade Stockholm and I love this shade also. And then I wanted to do a, dust, a glossy lip because I haven't done gloss in such a long time. So I used the Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Shimmer of Hope and that completed the entire look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. It's one of my favorite looks I've done in a long time. So I hope you guys like it too. And I will see you in my next video. Oh my god, if they have to put him down, I'm gonna ball my eyes out. Oh my god, I am gonna ball my eyes out if she has to put him down. I'm way too emotional these days.